Finding your sense of belonging within a space could be one of the most challenging things to do. It may be even more challenging when the systems set in place around you weren't created for you. Ms. Crispo at the Durham School of the Arts shares a little bit more behind the reality of that statement for many students. Looking at like school data from like the panorama survey. So this is like all students take it. Like that sense of belonging is still our lowest like this year too. Like it's gone up, I think like one point or something from last year, but I do think that sense of belonging is a huge thing. And that is why it was important for high school senior David Fernandez to create the Latinx Student Union to find that same sense of belonging and representation within a space where sometimes the largest student group was one of the most forgotten. I felt like we should have created like a, sp a safe space for all Latinos to come mm -hmm. by and like talk about our emotions because it has to come out one way or another. Yeah. It's not good to keep it trapped in because I know, well, in my experience, we were taught to men are quiet if you don't yeah. say anything. And Miss Mace at DSA is aware of these challenges and is why she strives to create a safe space in her classroom, a hate-free zone. And it's exactly why David knew he could come to her to create the Latinx Student Union. Even have a club started by a student like Latinx Student Union. I mean, the purpose of the club is to um, really bring the needs of our growing um, Latino, Latina population, like making sure that they're like all of the awesome things that they bring to the school are front and center and are celebrated and then also that they're getting the support. In collaboration with the Mural Club, the Latinx Student Union is working to create a mural that celebrates Latinx identities and cultures. While David recognizes the significance of the support from teachers and staff to help bring those strokes to life, David believes that there is still a lot of work left to be done. Usually, David could be found at the front of the classroom, commanding the space and leading the conversation. Outside of the classroom, you could find David at Duke's Biddle Music Building on East Campus, where David plays the cello. In addition to being a part of DSA's orchestra pathway, David is also a part of the photography pathway, where he enjoys taking pictures, he enjoys art, he loves to create, take things apart and put them together again. But above all, David is able to recognize the flaws within our systems and cultures. And he also embraces the strengths and weaknesses that come with all of it. Whether it's weaknesses in the Latinx comunidad that struggles with toxic masculinity and embracing one true self that comes with being queer and how that damage and trauma has been passed down for generations. And we see that with our parents and our grandparents and their parents or the flaws in the public education system that fails to represent students of color, where David looks around in his honor chemistry class and doesn't see any other Latinx student. But there's also celebration, embracing where you come from, celebration within the Latinx culture for Dia de los Muertos, painting our faces and how beautiful the altars we are to honor those who came before us and all of their sacrifices, as well as uplifting the public school system where despite all of its challenges, incredible and supportive teachers work there that continue to support students every day in their personal and academic endeavors. And as David looks to the future, as a first-generation Latinx student, he wants to be the change within those flawed systems. He plans on pursuing higher education and will wait to see where life takes him.